everyone, this is Sari from The Chance. Our product, Renewable Essays, in hot selling. And many farmers want to know the function of bioassays. So today our topic is bioassay application on shrimp. So there are three parts of the, the content. The first part is bioassays in the hectare period of shrimp. So let's see the shrimp development period, including bacteria period, liver transition, middle and late breeding period, then shrimp harvest. So the first part, the assays in the hectare period of shrimp. So shrimp in PL 11, 14 seedlings in India normally. And the addition of biases begins when not ill eat walk protein and start eating plantain coke. And the function is not play your shelf frequently. Biases can improve the absorption of fat so soluble vitamins, especially VD, and VD can promote the absorption of calcium icons in the feed, thereby promoting shelling, improving the success rate of shelling and timely after shelling, shell hardening. So in the vitamin broad stock, our assays improve shrimp egg quality. Firstly, the standard of egg quality is yolk protein. Part of the yolk protein is synthesized in the ovary. A large part is synthesized in the hepatopancreas. The burden on the liver is heavy, and the fat content is also high, and bioassays promote the digestion and absorption of fat. Secondly, storage of the most basic lipid nutrition nutrients for food stock. Bioassays promote the absorption of lipid nutrients. The last is bioassays improves the absorption and the utilization of fat soluble vitamins by food stock, especially the absorption and the utilization of VD. So the bioassay dosage is nebulae 2 to 3 gram per cubium meter water. So Percent by assay, the flesh broad stock five kilogram per ton. So that is the second part by assays in the liver trans transforming stage of shrimp. So let's see the critical stage of hepatopancreas, the liver transition period. We know the shrimp harvest is uh connection of hepatopancreas if the hepatopancreas is health and the shrimp is more healthy so the shrimp just put in pound and gradually fully covered by white membrane then white hepatopancreas went to grow and become mature and the feed intake keep Feed intake keep increasing, shrimp grow quickly. And the next we see the liver transition of the hepato, hepat, hepatic tubule. We can see from hardy to full, and the hepatopancreas gradually mature. So the hepatopancreas can promote the liver tra transformation of shrimp. In Trampic stage, the process of the gradual development and the maturity of the hepatopancreas affect immunity, digestive ability, growth performance, and other comprehensive 
performance. The tunic, abigail, adipose tissue, an important maker of liver transformation. Hepatic tubules, microscopic examination for glandular ducts, uniform bed cortisols. And uh, comprehensive measures, bioacids protect the liver, promote digestion and absorption, and uh, detoxification, intestine toxins. Secondly, probiotics mix the take acid bacteria, glossidium, batiuncum, and uh, bacillus and regularly the balance of intestine flora and inhibit the excessive reproduction of harmful bacteria. And the liver conversation stage, it is very important to promote fat digestion and absorption and expel intestine toxins. So from the seeding stage, five kilogram per ton of acid was added to the feed to about 20 days. And the shrimp began to turn to the liver. It can be clearly said that the ebangers of the shrimp is clear. The body is transparent. Intestine is thin. The feed intake of shrimp is increased and the, the growth is good. And the last part is management in the middle and the late stage of shrimp farming. We know the management in the shrimp farming is very impossible and important. And after the shrimp are transformed to the liver, it starts from 45 days to the middle and stage later stages. The breeding cycle of shrimps is generally 90 to 120 days, frequently heard word head. 30 heads means 30 tails. One cattle equals 500 grams, about 15 grams of sh a shrimp, the smaller the number of heads. So we should strengthen mid to late management. In the middle and late stage of aquaculture, water quality and subspread deteriorated seriously. Bacterial and algal were unbalanced, as was frequent disease. The original suspicion the occurrence of the disease is often the result of the combined action of multiple factors, which requires a comprehensive. The concept of prevention and control. Firstly, water quality control. Use negro fertilize with caution and supplement photo heat fertilizer a small amount and multiply times minerals. Food bacteria with carbon fertilized decompose organic matter to promote algal, bacterial, and algal level. In addition to detoxification, when the algal is purged, more probiotics are sprinkled on the block to promote decomposition, inhibit harmful bacteria, measures water frequently, pay attention to changes in indicators and strengthen protein in time. Secondly, substrate improvement, diligent improves the substrate, use chemical and biologic products at intervals, reduce among nutrition. Thirdly, strengthen stress treatment, antitox and immune enhancing, blessing immunity. 
And the last one is control the feeding amount, observe the feeding table. So we can see these pictures, liver and intestine disease, color, redness, yellowness, whiteness, blackness, etc. And hepatic intestine disease outline enlarged blood white flows and the empty stomach. So, okay, thank you for your attending our meetings. And if you have any problems of shrimp farming, you can contact me and also can follow our channels, The Chance Aquaculture Nutrition. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.